Hello everyone. So today we're going to do an unboxing for a Capcom CPS3 multi kit. So I was fortunate enough to be able to order this kit and it arrived today. So we're going to open it up and take a look and go from there. Well, first thing we can see here is a marquee. Looks like Street Fighter 3, Second Impact Giant Attack. So the marquee, we got a move strip. You got your guide. So that's neat. Next up here, we have the CD-ROM and the looks that was that the ID E ribbon there. All right, right here. Let's see if we bring this a little closer. This is the cart. So this is the third right um, second impact um, cart that goes in the motherboard. Okay, here is our interface board for the multi kit. So, okay. Inside, what do we have here? Okay, we've got the motherboard itself, the CPS3. So we'll open this up right quick just so you can see it without damaging anything being the goal. Okay. There is the CPS3 motherboard and it's already pre-populated with the correct amount of um, RAM sims there so it's all ready to go they can handle everything else obviously CPS3 is a JAMA connected uh, motherboard so I can use this in any of my JAMA systems like um, I'll probably just put it in the Astro City keep things simple um, but I could also use this if I wanted to in the uh, Thomas Wave cabinet or the Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. But uh, I think I'll keep it simple and just put it inside the um, Astro City since we got that built up and everything else with a new monitor, speakers, and everything else. So let's set that to the side. And what else do we have in here? Okay, uh, let's come back and look at this in a second. Okay, we have your Molex power cables, IDE cables right here for the CD-ROM attachment. Speaking of which, Here is the CD-ROM for the CPS-3 right there. And this was, all, if you can see, it was packed very well. Everything is nice and secure inside of here. I didn't have to worry about anything being damaged. So um, the seller who sent this did an excellent job all the way around. So we'll take a look right here. At the CD-ROM, it's going to be your standard fare, but we'll just take a look at it for video sake. And 
obviously we'll have to do a follow-up video with this all set up and running and such. So please look out for that. And while I'm doing this, please um, remember to like and subscribe on the videos. It really helps the channel grow. Okay, so here we go. Standard CD-ROM there. There's the readout. There you go. And once again, your IDE, Molex connectors and such. Okay, awesome. And then we had one package that I set aside while I was doing all of that. So, let's take a look and see what this is. It is really protected well, so I need to find out how is the best way to open this. Okay, I see an entrance here. Perhaps. It is always awkward opening brand new things on a, while you're filming. Especially if you're doing it with one cut and not doing any transitions. But that's part of the fun, right? Okay. This is very interesting. Because technically, I think we have all the parts needed for the multi-kit. So, very interested to see what this is. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, I know what this is. So... This is going to be nice. So I really have to put this together when it's done. This is going to be a cover. Um, so a, a back plate that's um, acrylic. Bottom plate, top plate, and he has it painted. So once I take off um, the covers, um, the motherboard, so for example, we'll sit down on the plates here so there's a top cover or the bottom here and then this slot right here is your cart and so we're going to Okay, so it'll be like this. So it'll it'll sit like this. And since this is acrylic, you'll be able to see that design on it once I um, get it mounted to both of the sides of the board and everything else. So that's nice. I totally forgot that he... Um, the person I bought it from was going to do that, so that's very nice of him to set up um, the acrylic mounting boards that has the design on it. So I'll set this all up, definitely make, and make a follow-up video. But basically we got everything we needed for the multi-kit. We have um, motherboard, um, <laughs> a nice cover, we have security cart, and let's, let's open up that security cart just so we can take a look at it here once again without damaging anything 
There's also another piece right there we need to be aware of. Side for a second, and we still have more wrapping to get inside of here. Another thing, I'm, just, I'm gonna have to make sure I have a six button harness. For this game for the cab, I think I have one somewhere, but I'll take a look. That's obviously it's gonna need a kick harness to go inside of here. So here we go. Get a better look at it. So there is your security card for the game. Okay. And once again, we can come back and take a quick look. Here we are. So the actual game itself, let's open that up. And there is second impact but keep in mind um, remember even though it came with this one um, this is a multi-game kit so I'll be able to load in multiple um, different games the only disadvantage about the um, and here is our interface ribbon the only disadvantage of, uh, for using the CPS 3 um, system in general is that when you load the games in, you actually have to wait for it actually to populate that that, that data into um, the system ROM, or RAM. So it may take 20, 30 minutes to load in that data, um, and then once you leave it in, leave that data in the system. Well, it's loaded, and you you don't have to worry about it until you want to switch games, and then you have to wait again and again. For that process to update unlike um, the newer updates that we have going for like for example the type x2 multi game where it, the games are on ssds and it's the loading is instant so not bad but it's just different technology once again here is the molex connector that'll go into that cd-rom and the ribbon and such so pretty standard setup shouldn't be hard but that's the full set. We got everything we need. Um, we'll set this up, get it going inside the cabinet, and get some video. So, very happy for this. Um, um, packing and everything else, awesome, 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 all around. So happy to get it, get this installed in the Astro, get some videos up. Um, please, everyone, take some time out. Um, please like and subscribe, um, and then. I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out. Um, once I get this installed, this is going to be awesome. So I'll take off this um, the covers, get this installed, and we'll get a a, a part two of it installed. Um, first, actually, we'll do a part two of it just all put together, and then actually installed and playing. So please look forward to that. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.